Hello again everyone, this is Zombie Kids Rule and uh, I'm back for just a really quick video because I wanted to share a script that I found uh, over on RPGMakerWeb.com, the forums, and uh, this script was provided to somebody else on a thread. Uh, the username is, I, I don't know if I can pronounce it right, but I, I say Kaethril, uh, but uh, anyway, this script is for when uh, you want to hover over a picture with your mouse and display another picture. Uh, I mean, there may be other things you can do with this script. That's what I uh, saw uh, the potential in it. That's what I wanted to use it for. So um, I, I took the script. I did a quick test of it. It does exactly what I want to do, uh, what I want it to do. And I even tested it with the um, greater than 100 picture ID. So uh, a couple tutorials ago, uh, I, I showed that um, you know you can modify RPG Maker MZ to show more than 100 pictures, and you can have it accept more than uh, you know 100 as a picture ID. And so I tested that to make sure it still works, and it works perfectly fine. So anyway, I will show you what it does. Um, then I'll show you the quick. It's very quick and very easy. Again, I just want to state this is not my script. I did not make this script. I found it in a thread. Uh, somebody was asking a question. Uh, Kaethril offered this uh, script as a solution to that other person's question. And uh, I used it and said, hey, this is awesome. This does exactly what I want it to do. So let me just show you what it does. And I have three quick little images here. And when uh, my mouse goes over them, it's going to display the name of the animal. So. We have wolf, bear, fox. And if I go down through here, if I just hover, move my mouse back and forth, it changes the word, right? So that's, that's, that's ex all this script is doing right now. And I plan on using this in my um, Sudoku puzzle uh, game as uh, kind of like help text. So if you hover over something, it will display some sort of like message help text uh, until you move away from it. So that's all it does. Uh, I mean, at least this is what I'm using it for. Uh, and it works really great. So anyway, here's, here's how it works. I have two events. That's it. Just two simple events. The first event, all this is doing is displaying the pictures. So this first one is just uh, making a blank screen because... Um, this is what my map looks like, and I don't want that. So basically, I'm using show picture, and I'm using picture number one to show a blank screen. It's, it's just a, a black image that is the size of the screen. Then I'm using the show picture command again, which I've highlighted in previous videos, uh, and selecting the images that I want and placing them where I want, right? This is just the simple show picture uh, event command. This is the script for showing pictures, and I only I highlighted this in previous videos, but I wanted to test it here because I wanted to try a picture ID above 100. So this is using the script to show a picture. This is a picture 250. I'm using the ID 250. So it's dollar sign game capital screen dot show capital picture open uh, parentheses. The, the picture ID, 250, and then the comma, and then in single quotations, the name of the picture, which is the same as what would be up here, so animal 3, comma, 0 is basically the upper left, right, uh, comma, 10 is the first, is the X, uh, 130 is the Y, right, and then 100 and 100, those are the um, scale, right, the height and width, and then 255 and uh, 0 for normal. This just mimics the show picture uh, event command. So I'm testing this to make sure, as you already saw, this script works with the um, picture IDs above 100. Then this is just uh, turning a self switch on because this event is running in parallel. So when I start the game, it shows these pictures, turns on self switch A, so it advances the page which is just an action button means it's not going to do anything anymore, right? Because this is the, uh, the page, uh, the highest page where the conditions are met. It's going to sit here. So it's not, this isn't going to keep running in parallel because it doesn't need to. Once you show the picture, you can just move away from it and those pictures will stay there. Uh, so that's the first event, just to get the picture showing. Now, here is what's doing the work. 
This is a parallel event that's running. Um, this is a on map parallel event. Uh, you could try doing this with a common event instead, but this is running in parallel. And here is the script. It's it's uh, it's very very uh, simple script. And so it actually won't be easy to see any better here. But in the conditional branch, right? This is a conditional branch under script on page four. You put the script in here. I'm using else branch. So the script is so conditional branch if using the script so here is the script const pick id okay make sure you pay attention to the capitals right capital letters equals two this is basically um identifying the picture right so let me go back here right so picture two picture three picture 250 those are the ones i want to interact with so uh con const like constant pick id it equals two so if pick ID equals two semicolon, then it's going to basically, this is um, uh, uh, allowing you to um, uh, hover over the picture. We'll see at the end the is being touched uh, function. So scene manager, again, pay attention to the capital, scene manager dot underscore scene dot underscore sprite set dot underscore picture container, okay, dot children and then open bracket pick id minus one closing bracket question mark dot and then the 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 function that is you know basically saying is it is the is the mouse touching this picture is being touched open and closed parentheses that's the entire script and basically what it's what this script is saying is if picture ID number two is being touched, then do what's under here, okay? And all this is doing is it's using the default plugin uh, that comes with MZ text picture so that it can display the text of Fox as a, as a picture. And then this plugin requires that you do show picture um, with, a, with none, meaning a blank right and that's what's the, the the text becomes the image and then the rest of this is the show picture and so if the con the if the picture if pick id number two is being touched then show the text fox at this location otherwise else erase that picture 20 because once you move away from the picture and picture id number two is no longer being touched you want to make sure that picture gets erased. You don't want it to just sit there forever. So this is just going to be a series of conditional branches that, that do the exact same thing. If, and then script, so conditional branch, and all I changed here was the ID of the picture. If, if const pick ID equals three, all the rest of this is the same. It is exactly the same text. You don't have to change anything. Is, is, if it's being touched, then use that plugin command for text of bear a different picture right 21 so this is the same as up here just a different picture id and then else meaning that if if it's not being touched then if there is a picture 21 make sure it gets erased and then the last one because i had three pictures right if and now this is just showing that you can use that same script with that higher picture id 250 same plugin for the text. Here's the script to show picture uh, as high as two, you know, higher, however high you set it. I have a previous tutorial on how to change it, but this is showing, uh, again, you have to have a picture ID with this, right? So 250 is being set from the other event. Now the show picture, uh, I mean, the plugin command text of wolf has to have a different picture. So 251, uh, empty uh, single quotes is that is the same as none here so the empty uh, quotations and then the rest of this is I already described it else and this is where uh, I, I described in a previous video you can't use the um, event command erase picture with the images above two uh, above 100 they won't accept it so um, the interface will change it the the UI will change it to back to a hundred so you have to use the script dollar sign game screen dot erase pictures 
uh, open uh, parentheses, 251, your picture ID, uh, closing parentheses. And then this is just waiting 10 frames, so, uh, you know, uh, one sixth, oh wait, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, one sixth of a second, right? So 60 frames is one second. So it's waiting 10 frames before it, it goes back because a parallel event just keeps going back and looping, right? So it waits 10 frames and then goes back to the top and checks these again. So it's constantly checking to see are any of these pictures being touched? And if so, show the appropriate picture. If not, then erase a picture if it's there. That's it. Okay, so um, once again, this just sets up the pictures that you need, demonstrating that you can use the uh, above 100 picture ID with the, um, the script for show picture. Uh, it starts in parallel simply because I wanted this to run immediately, right? And then I change it to the next page because I, I don't want this to just keep uh, showing the pictures over and over and over again. There's no reason for that. And then this one is a parallel event. Again, map event. You could try a common event. It's a running a parallel event. And it's going to continuously run to keep checking, is the mouse touching any of these pictures? Picture 2, picture 3, picture 250. If so, do what it says under the conditional uh, branch. And then if it's not, then make sure you erase the picture if it has been shown. And that's it. So once again, the script, again, you just have to copy this. Uh, you can play around with this. Uh, const, C-O-N-S-T, pick ID equals whatever your pick ID is, semicolon, scene manager dot underscore scene dot underscore sprite set dot underscore picture container, remember, pay attention to where the capitals are, dot children, and then uh, open bracket, pick ID minus one, closing bracket, question mark dot is being touched and then open and closed parentheses that's your script and this works great okay so uh, once again just to show it here I, I really want to thank uh, the the RPG maker folks on the forum uh, that you know answer people's questions and provide helpful scripts like this that you can go and do different things with and uh, and try out and and that sort of thing so again I did not make this script I I, I, uh, I, I uh, found it uh, on rpgmakerweb.com the forums uh, the user was uh, name of Kethril and uh, you know they're very helpful and uh, this works great I hope this helps people. I'm going to continue to, um, I'm not experimenting with this anymore. I'm going to implement it into my Sudoku puzzle. If I happen to find any oddities or any problems that result, I will definitely update this. Uh, but, in the, but for now, from the simple test that I did and as I demonstrated, this works perfectly fine. It's very, very cool. And you can do this hover over uh, type of, um, uh, you know, functionality without uh, a separate plugin. If you're using MZ, uh, I'm using the text um, picture plugin so I can display the text. Uh, but in theory, right, uh, you could use this script and you could just hover over a picture to show another picture. Uh, anyway, hope this helps folks. Uh, you know, again, um, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure when another video will come up. Uh, I just wanted to share this since uh, I recently found it, experimented with it, and it works. It's, it works awesome. So I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, you know, I, I, I hope everything's going well with your, your game developing. And until I have a chance to do something else in the future, uh, happy gaming, happy game developing. And uh, once again, big shout out to Kethril um, for uh, providing this script to help somebody else, and it definitely helped me. So thank you very much, and I will talk to everybody later. All right, see you later. Bye.